Yo, what's going on YouTube? Apoxy here, and welcome to the third episode for the Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Modding Guide. This series is dedicated toward those of you who want the best and most stable modded games, and this series will walk you through step by step on how to achieve this goal. Now before I get into what we'll be doing this episode, I'd like to mention that I made a decision to use Mod Organizer during most of this series rather than the Nexus Mod Manager, just to make things, well, more organized. I'll be covering more on the Mod Organizer later in this series, or even in a series of its own, but for now, in this video I'll be showing you how to install New Vegas Script Extender, also known as NVSE, and also showing you how to make sure it's installed correctly. Now before I dig into this episode, I'd like to take a look back at the previous episodes in this series in case you missed them. In the preparation episode for this series, we covered how to do a full fresh install for your game, so no junk files were left behind to cause problems with your game in the future clean install. In the first episode for this series, it was the battle between Nexus Mod Manager and Mod Organizer, and within that video we went over the installation along with both the benefits and cons that went along with each option. In our previous episode, the second official episode, we talked about what NVSE is and why it should matter to you if you plan on modding your game at all. Now we're here, with the third episode in the series and guiding you through the steps of installing the essential New Vegas Script Extender. But without further ado, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so the actual installation for NBSE itself is actually quite basic, and it's going to be a really fast tutorial. So anyways, what you want to do is go down in the description below and click on the link that will bring you to nbse.silverlock.org, and it'll come up with these two different download links. It'll allow you to download the stable version and the beta version. Now, these may be updated by the time this video is up, but anyways... We've got the version 4.5 here for the stable and the 4.6b1 for the beta version. Now you can download whatever one of these and if you guys want to make sure that your mods do work, then what you're going to want to do is actually go on the mod page itself and see what version it requires for you to install. Now it is say for example a mod required version 4.3 and this version is 4.5, 4.5 will still work. So you just got to make sure that you have a higher version than what is recommended on the mod page itself. Some some mod pages won't recommend anything and you can just in install the stable version if you want. I don't think any mods out there really require the beta versions, so you don't really have to worry about that. But anyways, in this video I'm going to be downloading the beta version. The installation is the same for both, so you don't have to worry about it. Alright, so what you want to do is just click on the link and save it to wherever you want. I'm going to save it down into my downloads folder. And from here, you're going to have to extract it. Now, something you're going to actually need is WinRAR. You can simply just type it in on Google, type in WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, and then you want to go ahead and download that from the right page. And then once you have that installed correctly, you can just right click and go extract here, and you'll be able to extract this packed file. Now you can open up this folder right here, and we can go ahead and actually minimize that. And then what we want to do is actually open up the Fully New Vegas directory. And then from here, what we're going to want to do is actually transfer all these files right here. We don't need the source files, but if you want to transfer them, like for example, if you're going to get into modding and you're going to learn how to use NBSE and do all this programming and everything, then you can go ahead and transfer it if you really want to. But if you don't know what you're doing, then I suggest just copying all these files and transferring them over. All you want to do is copy and paste. You can just click and drag and then you're basically done you want to make sure that you drag it into the location in which has the follow new vegas.exe and the follow new vegas launcher.exe it might not show the extensions for you but if it says follow new vegas launcher and follow new vegas twice here then you should be good all right so what you're going to want to do from here is actually launch the game up through the nvse underscore loader.exe and just double click it hit run and they'll launch up the game and basically what this does is it links it to the game itself so then you can launch it up from steam if you really want to but if you do have mod organizer installed for example you're going to have to launch it through mod organizer itself or you just use a shortcut from mod organizer so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in just a quick sec uh, but we're just going to quickly ensure that it's working correctly and i'm going to be showing you guys right now how to ensure it's working correctly and make sure it's linked up with your game 
and this is not something you have to do every time you launch up the game. This is a question that I've gotten on all my previous NVSE videos. People always ask, do I have to type in get NVSE version every time I launch up the game? The answer is no. It's just to simply check to make sure that NVSE is installed and linked with your game properly. So all you have to do is once you're at the main menu, hit the console command key. So if you don't know what that is, you can simply search on Google, type in console command and then wherever your location is and then you should be able to find it. And then what you wanna do is once you see that little line at the bottom left is type in get NVSE version and hit enter. And it should say something like NVSE version four. Now, if it gives you an error or something that means it's not installed correctly, you can go ahead and message me down in the comment section below and I will reply as soon as possible. I do reply to every comment, so you can feel free to comment down below. But anyways, we have it installed correctly now, so we can go ahead and quit the game. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and install a mod that requires NVSE so that we can make sure it's working with Mod Organizer and NVSE at the same time, so I will be right back. All right, so now that I have a mod installed, I actually went ahead and installed Project Nevada so that we can make sure it's working completely correctly through Mod Organizer and NVSE. And we're gonna go ahead and click Run. Now, if you guys don't know, Mod or or Project Nevada actually requires NVSE to even work. So that's gonna show you guys that NVSE is working. And then also, Mod Organizer requires it to be launched through Mod Organizer itself since the mod files are actually located somewhere else and it's all done through mod organizer itself so yeah you're gonna need both things working to actually get the actual mod to work so i'm gonna be showing you guys that everything is working nice and dandy right now i haven't even tested this yet so it's all done live anyways let's go ahead and do the get nvse version to make sure it's all working and get nvse version hit enter and bam nvse version 4 we're all good Let's go ahead and load up a random save here, and then we'll see if Project Nevada is working all nice and dandy as well. All right, as you guys can see, Project Nevada is working. It just popped up with the grenade hotkey, and apparently I am over encumbered, which is not very nice at the beginning of the game, especially uh, especially when I'm wanting to show off something. So anyways, we're just gonna quickly repair some of this stuff here so that I can show you guys that everything is nice and dandy, and that we got the sprinting and everything working. So let's go ahead and find some stuff that we can fix up here. So, bam, bam, bam. Climbity clam. Mm. All right, we need to repair one more thing here. Bam. There, we should be good. All right, look at that. The sprinting's working and everything. I think we might even have mod configuration menu, as you guys can see, this is working as well. So as you guys can see, the mods are working and NVSE itself is working as well. So that, my folks, is how you install NVSE and also how to get it working through Mod Organizer and also how to ensure it's working in-game by simply hitting the console command key, typing in get NVSE version, hitting enter, and then it'll show up with either a version or an error depending on whether it's installed correctly or not. So. That, my folks, is how to install New Vegas Script Extender for Fallout New Vegas. If you have any troubles, feel free to leave a comment down below asking for help and simply just state what problems you're having, and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. I do reply to every comment, so feel free. I don't bite, and I will be very kind. Even if, even if you're a hater and you get all mad, I'm still going to be nice about it. So, Anyways, before I end off this video, I'd like to ask you all another quick question for you to answer down in that lovely comment section below. What mod would you like to see me showcase next on my channel? Let me know down in that lovely comment section below, and your comment might just be featured in one of my future videos. However, that is sadly the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, it would be super greatly appreciated if you could smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fights. Also, if you'd like to check out more of my content, here are two videos on the screen right now that you may have missed. On the left is a news update about the Fallout 4 leak that was caused due to an NDA breach by a contract 3D artist who put Fallout 4 cinematic trailer as a part of his portfolio. And on the right is the full playlist for the series so that you can catch up on all the missed episodes. But with that said, guys, my name is Epoxy. And as always, don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.